First Chronicles chapter 12 These were the men who came to David at Ziglag while he was banished from the presence of Saul son of Kish they were among the warriors who helped him in battle they were armed with bows and were able to shoot arrows or to sling stones right-handed or left-handed they were relatives of Saul from the tribe of Benjamin Iezer their chief and Joash the sons of Shemaiah the Gibeathite Jeziel and Pelet the sons of Azmaveth Barakah Jehu the Anatotite and Ishmaiah the Gibeonite a mighty warrior among the thirty who was a leader of the thirty Jeremiah Jahaziel Johanan Josaban the Gaderatite Eluzai Jerimoth Beliah Sher Mariah and Shephatiah the Harpufite Elkanah Ishia Azarel Joezer and Jashobim the Korahites and Johla and Zebadiah the sons of Jeroham from Gedor some Gadites defected to David at his stronghold in the wilderness they were brave warriors ready for battle and able to handle the shield and spear their faces were the faces of lions and they were as swift as gazelles in the mountains Ezer was the chief Obadiah the second in command Eliab the third Mishmanah the fourth Jeremiah the fifth Atai the sixth Eliel the seventh Johanan the eighth Elzabad the ninth Jeremiah the tenth and Machbanai the eleventh these Gadites were army commanders the least was a match for a hundred and the greatest for a thousand it was they who crossed the Jordan in the first month when it was overflowing all its banks and they put to flight everyone living in the valleys to the east and to the west other Benjamites and some men from Judah also came to David in his stronghold David went out to meet them and said to them if you have come to me in peace to help me I am ready for you to join me but if you have come to betray me to my enemies when my hands are free from violence may the God of our ancestors see it and judge you then the spirit came on Amasai chief of the thirty and he said we are yours David we are with you son of Jesse success success to you and success to those who help you for your God will help you so David received them and made them leaders of his raiding bands some of the tribe of Manasseh defected to David when he went with the Philistines to fight against Saul he and his men did not help the Philistines because after consultation their rulers sent him away they said it must cost it will cost us our heads if he deserts to his master Saul when David went to Zig lag these were the men of Manasseh we effected to him Adna Josabad Jediel Michael Josabad Elihu and Zilatai leaders of units of a thousand in Manasseh they helped David against raiding bands for all of them were brave warriors and they were commanders in his army day after day men came to help David until he had a great army like the army of God these are the numbers of the men armed for battle 
who came to David at Hebron to turn Saul's kingdom over to him, as the Lord had said. From Judah, carrying shield and spear, 6,800 armed for battle. From Simeon, warriors ready for battle, 7,100. From Levi, 4,600, including Jehoiada, leader of the family of Aaron, with 3,700 men. And Zadok, a brave young warrior, with 22 officers from his family. From Benjamin, Saul's tribe, 3,000, most of whom had remained loyal to Saul's house until then. From Ephraim, brave warriors, famous in their own clans, 20,800. From half the tribe of Manasseh, designated by name to come and make David king, 18,000. From Issachar, men who understood the times and knew what Israel should do, 200 chiefs with all their relatives under their command. From Zebulun, experienced soldiers prepared for battle with every type of weapon to help David with undivided loyalty, 50,000. From Naphtali, 1,000 officers together with 37,000 men carrying shields and spears. From Dan, ready for battle, 28,600. From Asher, experienced soldiers prepared for battle, 40,000. And from east of the Jordan, from Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, armed with every type of weapon, 120,000. All these were fighting men who volunteered to serve in the ranks. They came to Hebron fully determined to make David king over all Israel. All the rest of the Israelites were also of one mind to make David king. The men spent three days there with David, eating and drinking, for their families had supplied provisions for them. Also their neighbors from as far away as Issachar, Zebulun, and Naphtali came bringing food on donkeys, camels, mules, and oxen. There were plenty, there were plentiful supplies of flour, fig cakes, raisin cakes, wine, olive oil, cattle, and sheep, for there was joy in Israel. Chapter 13 David conferred with each of his officers, the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds. He then said to the whole assembly of Israel, If it seems good to you, and if it is the will of the Lord our God, let us send word far and wide to the rest of our people throughout the territories of Israel, and also to the priests and Levites who are with them in their towns and pasture lands, to come and join us. Let us bring the ark of our God back to us, for we did not inquire of it during the reign of Saul. The whole assembly agreed to do this because it seemed right to all the people. So David assembled all Israel from the Shehor river in Egypt to Lebo Hamath to bring the ark of God from Kiriath Jerim. David and all Israel went to Baalah of Judah, Kiriath Jerim, to bring up from there the ark of God, the Lord, who is enthroned between the cherubim, the ark that is called by the name. They moved the ark of God from Abinadab's house on a new cart with Uzzah and Ahio guiding it. David and all the Israelites were celebrating with all their might before God, with songs and with harps, 
lyres, timbrels, cymbals, and trumpets. When they came to the threshing floor of Kidon, Uzzah reached out his hand to steady the ark because the oxen stumbled. The Lord's anger burned against Uzzah, and he struck him down because he had put his hand on the ark. So he died there before God. Then David was angry because the Lord's wrath had broken out against Uzzah, and to this day that place is called Perez Uzzah. David was afraid of God that day and asked, How can I ever bring the ark of God to me? He did not take the ark to be with him in the city of David. Instead, he took it to the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite. The ark of God remained with the family of Obed-Edom in his house for three months, and the Lord blessed his household and everything he had. Chapter 14 Now Hiram king of Syre, I'm sorry, Tyre, sent messengers to David along with cedar logs, stone masons, and carpenters to build a palace for him. And David knew that the Lord had established him as king over Israel, and that his kingdom had been highly exalted for the sake of his people Israel. In Jerusalem, David took more wives and became the father of more sons and daughters. These are the names of the children born to him there, Shamua, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibhar, Elishua, Elpelet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhia, Elishima, Veliada, and Eliphelet. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over all Israel, they went up in full force to search for him. But David heard out about it and went out to meet them. Now the Philistines had come and raided the valley of Rephaim. So David inquired of God, Shall I go and attack the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hands? The Lord answered him, Go, I will deliver them into your hands. So David and his men went up to Baal Perazim, and there he defeated them. He said, As waters break out, God has broken out against my enemies by my hand. So that place was called Baal Perazim. The Philistines had abandoned their gods there, and David gave orders to burn them in the fire. Once more the Philistines raided the valley. So David inquired of God again, and God answered him, Do not go directly after them, but circle around them and attack them in front of the poplar trees. As soon as you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the poplar trees, move out to battle, because that will mean God has gone out in front of you to strike the Philistine army. So David did as God commanded him, and they struck down the Philistine army all the way from Gibeon to Gezer. So David's fame spread throughout every land, and the Lord made all the nations fear him. Chapter 15 After David had constructed buildings for himself in the city of David, he prepared a place for the ark of God and pitched a tent for it. Then David said, No one but the Levites may carry the ark of God, because the Lord chose them to carry the ark of the Lord and to minister before him forever. David assembled all Israel in Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord to the place he had prepared for it. He called together the descendants of Aaron and the Levites. From the descendants of Kohath, Uriel the leader, and 120 relatives. 
from the descendants of Marari, Asaya the leader, and 220 relatives. From the descendants of Gershon, Joel the leader, and 130 relatives. From the descendants of Elisaphan, Shemaiah the leader, and 200 relatives. From the descendants of Hebron, Eliel the leader, and 80 relatives. From the descendants of Uziel, Aminadab the leader, and 112 relatives. Then David summoned Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and Uriel, Asaiah, Joel, Shemaiah, Eliel, and Aminadab the Levites. He said to them, You are the heads of the Levitical families. You and your fellow Levites are to consecrate yourselves and bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place I have prepared for it. It was because you, the Levites, did not bring it up the first time that the Lord our God broke out in anger against us. We did not inquire of him about how to do it in the prescribed way. So the priests and Levites consecrated themselves in order to bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel. And the Levites carried the ark of God with the poles on their shoulders as Moses had commanded in accordance with the word of the Lord. David told the leaders of the Levites to appoint their fellow Levites as musicians to make a joyful sound with musical instruments, lyres, harps, and cymbals. So the Levites appointed Heman, son of Joel, from his relatives, Asaph, son of Berechiah, and from their relatives, the Merarites, Ethan, son of Cushiah, and with them, their relatives next in rank, Zechariah, Jaziel, Shimaramoth, Jehiel, Uni, Eliab, Benaiah, Maasiah, Matitatiah, Mat Matetaya, Elifelehu, Elifelehu, Mikniya, Obedidam, and Jael, the gatekeepers. <laughs> the musicians Haman and Asaph and Ethan were to sound the bronze cymbals. Zechariah, Jaziel, Shimaramoth, Jehiel, Uni, Eliab, Maasia and Benaiah were to play the lyres according to Alamoth and Matetiah, Elefe Lehu, Mikniya, Obed Edom, Jeiel, and Azaziah were to play the harps directing according to Sheminith. Kenaniah, the head Levite, was Kenaniah, the head leader, Lebusha, the, the, the head Levite, was in charge of the singing that was his responsibility because he was skillful at it. Barakiah and Elkanah were to be doorkeepers for the ark. Shebaniah, Joshaphat, Nathaniel, Amasai, Zechariah, Benaiah, and Eliezer the priests were to blow trumpets before the Ark of God. obed -Edom and Jehiah were also to be doorkeepers for the Ark. So David and the elders of Israel and the commanders of units of a thousand went to bring up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord from the house of Obed-Edom with rejoicing because God had helped the Levites who were carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord seven bulls and seven rams were sacrificed. Now David was clothed in a robe of fine linen as were all the Levites who were carrying the ark and as were the musicians and Kenaniah who was in charge of the singing of the choirs. David also wore a linen ephod. So all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouts 
with the sounding of rams, horns, and trumpets, and with and of cymbals and the playing of lyres and harps. As the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord was entering the city of David, Michal, daughter of Saul, watched from a window, and when she saw King David dancing and celebrating, she despised him in her heart. <laughs>